everyone and welcome back to the garage. You're watching RC Fun and Games and I am Ryan. Today we are going to get stuck in customizing the awesome Traxxas TRX4M Bronco. Now, I've gotten some cool scale metal paneling to go onto the rig. So we're going to be checking these out and of course we're going to be installing them and I'll be showing you exactly how to install these parts. Now, most of these parts are from DJ Crawler. I found them on AliExpress, so I'll share all the links to the products I'm going to use in this video. So just check the description of the video if you want to find these products. Now, let's get stuck in because I'm going to have to remove some of my scale stickers to be able to fit some of these parts, which is a bit of a pity because I do like stickers and I like the way the rig looks, but I think it's time to make it look a little bit more realistic than just a bunch of stickers. So. Let's have a look at what I got for the rig and then we're going to get stuck into installing them. Okay, so I got some badges that say Bronco. I believe they are also made out of some kind of metal, very thin, but they are there. There's also a set of really small ones. So I just thought that's a nice little accessory to put on the Bronco. Of course, I have gone for some side step panels, so this will go on Yeah, I've also gone for a full hood from DG Crawler. Um, I've got another one lying here. I just don't know which one I'm going to use. This one is from GRRC and the other one is from DJRC. So as you can see, there's a bit of a difference. This one comes with a center panel and this one doesn't come with anything. So I don't know which is the option I'm going to go for, but probably I am going to go for this one here from DJ Crawler. I also picked up some side panels to go along the doors over here. And we also got some grills for the side windows and the back window. So we'll check these items out as we open them to install them. Okay, so I'm going to start with these panels over here. Let's open the pack and see what do we get. Okay, we get some pre-cut double-sided tape to stick them straight on. And of course we get the two panels. So let's just have a good look at them. Okay, and as you can see, this is what they look like. And I've got to say the detail on them is pretty cool. They've got the line to go with the door, so of course I thought it would go right at the bottom, but that's not the case. As you can see, it will not work. So I looked carefully at the pictures and it shows me that it's meant to sit right over here. Which I think looks a little bit on the strange side, but you know what? I actually think it will look quite cool once it's on there. And as you can see, to install this I am going to have to remove my logo sticker and I'm going to have to remove the sticker that I put on from the store that I buy most of my rig here in Portugal, which is RTR Mudalismo. And if you live in Portugal, it is, in my opinion, one of the best shops to get your RC stuff from. So let's get stuck in. Let me remove these. And of course, I'm going to have to clean the body because I'm pretty sure it's going to leave residue from the glue. Okay, having a look at this double-sided tape, I thought it was pre-cut all the way through, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So, all I can do is remove this and the sticky stuff is down there. So, do I take that out and stick this in there? Okay, I think that's working. Okay, it looks like that is the theory. You just have to put it down and pull it out with the sticky compound. So there you are. Now let's just turn this rig around. Let's get this side on first. Okay, as you can see, that's what it's going to look like once you get it stuck on. It's got just the perfect amount of gap to miss the fender piece and exactly the same with the front. And I managed to line up the center line with the rest. So it's looking pretty good to me. 
I wish this would have sat down at the bottom piece, but I guess that's the look they were going for. So I'm not going to complain. So let's just turn this guy around. Let's do this next one. Okay, let's move on to the metal plates for this step. Okay, so let's just pull that out. And once again, the detail on it is just insane. It looks really, really amazing. And I love the way it has TRX4M on it. That looks really cool. Now I'm guessing these have to be broken out of here. And let's just check this double-sided tape to see if it's also done the same way as the last ones. No. Oh, that's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. They do not come out as easy as I thought they would. Okay, got one side to break loose. Now it should be a lot easier to get the other side out. Okay. Well, I can't complain. It broke off nicely. It was a little bit more difficult than I was expecting. Now, these are going to have to be 100% flat. Let's just see what does it look like on the truck and if it is the right size. Oh, yes. I don't know if you can see that, but that does look pretty cool. So now comes the really difficult part, which is trying to get the double sided tape cut to this size. I'm just going to use a Stanley knife. I'm going to put it flat on a table and I'll cut around the edge. Hopefully that will work. Okay, so I have done my best trying to cut these pieces to the exact measurement, which is a lot more difficult than it looks. But I think I've managed to get them there. I've done both of them. I'm going to try and stick them on and we're going to throw them on the vehicle. Okay, don't forget to clean the surface with some alcohol before sticking it down. And as you can see, that actually went on relatively easily. The hardest part was cutting the two-sided tape to actually get it to fit. Okay, let me glue this one on and I'll be right back with the next one. Okay, well, I guess it's time I move on to the hood. So let's get this sticker off. It's also going to require quite a bit of cleaning, I'm sure. And then we'll get the hood cover on. So let's get this off. And as you can see, I've managed to get the sticker off. Now I'm going to grab one of these hood pieces. Which one should I go for? Now I'm going to try this one out first. Since we're going DJ crawler all the way on the Bronco, we might as well try this one out. So let's see what do we get in here. Okay, so they are pre-cut like the first ones, so I'm very happy with that. We also get the hardware needed to screw this down. And of course, the awesome stainless steel panels. Let's check that out. Okay, look at those. Those actually look really awesome. That's going to be a really nice final touch to the front of this rig. So let's get these broken out. As you can see, the detail on the stainless steel plate is awesome. Look at the laser engraving. It looks really cool. I actually really like the mountain. I just wish it had Bronco or something else written on it. Besides that, it does look awesome. And here is the upper grill. 
and once again look at the detail on that that looks really really awesome so enough talking about it let's get the double sided tape on and of course let's get them on there then we can worry about the holes and get the screws in. okay looking at the sticky tape the way it's been done I don't like this idea on this one I'm probably just gonna use the screws if I put this on the bottom here all those little holes that you guys see through the grill are just gonna gather dust and it's gonna look terrible so in my opinion I am not gonna use that I'll rather put that back there and I think I will just go for the outer one because this one you haven't got any of those kind of holes so I haven't got that kind of problem but the other one I definitely don't think it's a good idea so let's get this one out Okay, like I mentioned, I'm not going to use double-sided tape on this one. I am going to find its location, I'm going to mark the holes, and I don't know if I'm going to drill the holes yet, or if I'm just going to melt a pinhole with a needle. I'll soon see which one works better. So, let's get this one fitted. Okay, so I don't have a drill bit small enough around the house, but I have got a needle. So, I'm going to warm up this needle, I'm going to poke the holes, and let's see if the screws will go in. Okay, and as you can all see, that really did turn out really awesome. I'm happy with the product. I'm happy with the way it's installed. So far, I am more than happy with their products. On the side pieces, yeah, I'm not 100% happy. I would like to have seen maybe a couple of screws holding everything down, 
So if I have any problems, I'll probably end up drilling a little hole or two to put some screws in to hold them down. So we've done the front, we've done the sides. Let's move on to the back windows. We're going to have a look at these grills that come over here. Once again, we get the hardware provided. And I also wanted to point out that there was extra hardware with the front panels. They look simple, easy to fit. All you need to do is make four holes for each and that's it. So that looks relatively easy to do. Okay, so as we can see, that's a pretty cool little finishing off touch, putting the grills on. I've always liked them on my Defender. So putting them on the Bronco, that's gonna be really awesome. And it doesn't look that difficult. All I need to do is line it up, punch your four holes and put the four screws in. So let's get stuck into fitting these. Okay, just having a look here at the back window grill, I am not as impressed with the design of it because as you know, you've got these two higher tabs up here and there is no cutouts on the window. And I did notice this, that's why I was having a quick look. But yeah, that is not, not a great job on the design because no matter what you're gonna do, it's gonna sit away because of those two tabs. Not that it's a problem, but I can't say that is the smartest design. Why not just have gone a little concave? It would have looked much better on the truck. But you know what? It's only a toy, it's not a real truck. If this was my real truck outside, I guess I would be disappointed. But I'm fine with the way it is. So, this one over here is gonna require some bending on the edges. Now I know why they made the tabs move. So we'll move on to that one in a minute. We'll start with the side ones and then we'll move on to the back window. Okay, as you can see, I've bent the grill a little bit just to go with the shape of the window and I also bent the tabs on the end so that they are flat to the body. Now this one here can actually sit on the bottom of the window. Then you just got to find center and of course puncture your holes. Okay, so that was actually really easy to fit and I do like the look that it gives the truck. It's still a pity they didn't make like recesses for the hinges on the back of the cab here. I think that would have looked even tidier, but you know what? No complaints, it's only a toy and it does look pretty cool. Now, I've got this grill on this side still to do. I'm quickly gonna do this off camera and then I'm gonna be back so we can see what it looks like back on the chassis. But of course, I think it's time I get rid of this plastic cover and throw a real spare wheel on the back. Okay, so the only thing left to do now is to put the Bronco name on it. Looks like metal. I don't believe they are metal. They are just stickers, but they look really cool. Now, where am I going to put them? I still don't know.
I've got all the accessories fitted and it's turned out looking really, really cool. I like the look, especially with the Bronco letters and everything. It's just the final touches that it needed. And I really like the white lines that I've just put just to finish off that hood area. Now, I'm not going to show you around the vehicle inside the garage here. I'm going to take you out on the backyard course. I'm going to leave you guys with a bit of running footage of the Bronco. And if you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And smash that bell so you don't miss any of the latest content. It costs nothing and it really helps my small little channel bring more content like this to all of you. So, until the next time, happy trails and I'll see you then.